So welcome back to my Nail Media channel. Still in the series about uh, practical tools that are cheap or either free and that can save you a lot of time. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, if you've watched it, I'm uh, talking about here uh, Beyond Compare and I'm using the virtual box. So that's why this video is going to be in a different screen format because I'm using VirtualBox with my Windows 7 French installation to be able to show it to you in English because uh, my installation on my computer is in French. This tool is pretty, pretty uh, useful when you need to compare different things. So for example, uh, I've been working on this website uh, this week and I needed to do some coding and if I needed to compare uh, two versions of my code, for example, so this is the code, the final code, and this is the staging site. So they're going to be pretty similar, but still you'll see some differences. So I can copy all my code here and I can come and do a text compare. So text can be any text like txt file, but it can be also code. So without any issue. So I'm going to paste it on the left side. And I'm going to come and get the code from this one here. Copy that. Control A, Control C to copy. And then paste it here. So Control V to paste here as well. I'm going to paste it at the top here. Paste here. And right away you see the differences. So they are highlighted in red. So you have a little small window here to preview the entire code to move quickly. You see where I have little red spot either here in my small window or here. These are code that are different. This particular case added code, but sometimes it can be simply with different uh, elements inside of it. So uh, I can either, if I want to, I can either click on that little yellow uh, arrow here and it will copy that from one side to the other. So this is the final one, this is the previous one. So I can copy one element to the other if I want to and simply save it from there. Or of course I can just compare them. You see that I have a little save to save the file on the left or on the right side. So this is something that is really, really cool. I can have them side by side, by the way, and I can change the view if I wanted to have them one under the other instead, possible, depending on the type of code or the element that you check. Um, and I won't go through all of the elements, but you show all the code here. And if I just paste that again, just to show you the difference, you can show only the differences. You can show everything that is the same, or you can show all. You can also print it. You can print a report. Uh, let me see. I don't remember exactly, but I know that you can print a report. Uh, let me get it. You can search and replace different elements. As you can see, a lot of things that you can do here. Um, but I want to have my report file format options. Okay, here, text compare report, and you can have different type of reports, you can change them. So really powerful here. But if I want to compare them side by side, for example, here, so if I want to have both of them, a report with both of them, the entire code, or as previously, I could just show the difference. I can print the summary, uh, just the difference here. I can change that, by the way, right here. I can use color or not, of course, depending on your printer. Uh, printer HTML report you can just I'll put it as a file as you can see or in plain text format you can just copy that to clipboard you can view in a browser you can save it so if I view that in a browser as you can see only the differences in this particular case so only what is added uh, if I do everything this is what it will look like and I can print that of course like I said you can send it to your developer or I don't know, to someone else if you need to. So really, really interesting, really powerful here. And this is just one example of them. 
you can change the rules, you can change the format. If I go back to my own, uh, discard everything, you can see we can compare entire folder. So I can compare one folder with another one, of course. This is one installation here with almost nothing inside of it. So I won't have a lot of things to compare. But let's say uh, I can click on the folder here and select the things that I want to compare. Let's say compare this one with this one. And as you can see, we can compare entire folder, not necessarily just file. We see the colors here. So this one has a folder that is not present here and so on. And I can even synchronize, by the way, from this place here. So I can use that as a synchronization uh, tool. So I can copy it right away from my uh, context material menu or things like that. And I can refresh and I can swap things. And like I said, I can use that to synchronize. Also, uh, right here, you see synchronize as well. Update right, update left. I can go inside of it and if i had the same files for example i can i will see that this one for example if it's in black they are exactly the same but if it's in red i could simply go from there open it and see the differences and it will open that file in a new tab so that's pretty powerful pretty useful uh there's two versions the standard and the pro so if you use the pro version you also have the option of and I think I didn't uh, register that one, by the way. So I'm using the, uh, I think it's still the pro evaluation. I don't know if I'm evaluating the, uh, yeah, the pro future. So I should have the possibility to, here we go, to go with the FTP. So subversion and FTP are only available in the pro version. So you could from there, compare directly a local file to something that is remote. So if you have the FTP information of your server, you can, of course, first of all, compare. You can copy from one place to the other. You can synchronize uh, your entire folder or your entire site via FTP using those tools. So that's really, really cool. And I first started using that with Dreamweaver at the time because Dreamweaver was using a compare uh, method. So I started using that software many years ago with Dreamweaver and it can be used with, uh, like that with Subversion and so on. So like I said, this is a brand new installation of, Word, of uh, Windows just to show you the interface in English. So I don't have a lot of things that I can compare uh, right here. Um, but... Uh, like I said, you can merge folders together, you can sync them, so it's gonna be change the interface. It's easier to use that interface for uh, synchronizing. You can do a text compare. So of course, as I did, you can do a copy and paste or you can simply select a fold, uh, file directly from there as well. So open a system file or a clipboard. So to compare files, one file with the other or different version of a file. Uh, and you can do that with txt file, html, pdf, and so on. There are a lot of things that you can do. You can even compare images. So it will show you the differences between two images. It will highlight the difference between the two. Uh, compare versions. You can compare even mp3s. So there's a lot of things that you can do there. And if you don't remember which one is the most recent version, for example, you can compare two things. You can compare a table. So really powerful tool here. Uh, I'm going to show you the other version, that, the one that I have in French with a little bit more feature. Uh, I have more files. So I'll be able to show you a couple of different things. But I just wanted to show you here the Scooter software site. And this is not a lifetime license, but you can upgrade for really cheap price. And the software itself is, is cheap. And I think I've been using version 4 for at least 3-4 years. So uh, they don't, uh, all the minor upgrades are going to be free. So only the paid, the major one is going to be paid. So it's not lifetime, but uh, you can buy it for many years, uh, as I, uh, as you might tell. So if we have the different uh, features here, I, I wanted to compare. There are two versions when you purchase the Pro and the Standard. And by the way, uh, it's available for... Um, I think for Windows and Mac, I'm trying to figure where it is written. 
where do we have that available for four 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 I don't see it but I think it's available for uh, multi-platform as you can see here so I think it's available for Mac and PC we'll have to look closer so anyway uh, what's the difference between pro and standard well first of all for the price you will see that the pro version is $60 which is really cheap for what it can do to be quite honest and like I said you can have it for many years um, you also have the uh, standard version which is half the price so $30 that's a steal if I compare the pro with the standard as you can see everything that is as that green pro uh, label here is with the pro so most everything is available in the standard version so you have way more things the, the version that I showed you is the pro one you can try it for free for three 30 days by the way uh, but as you can see here we can replace and you'll replace text we have three-way merge which is more advanced we have the registry compare if you need to compare a Windows registry which is not something that you do often three-way folder merge you have the align file names and this is something by the way that I want to show you sometimes um, let's hold I don't have my clipboard here but let's say for example I don't know uh, you might have sometimes error just because it's they're not aligned together you see here I have simply as uh, white space by the way they show in kind of purple instead of red and uh, I don't know it may find out that some things are different but simply because it's a different line it will try to align itself and you have more specific content and let's say if you want to align them together you use the uh, F7 key or you can uh, do a right click as well and you can decide which with with which line you want to align it of course now it will create an error because they're not the same at all but you can use that to uh, to align things together uh, if you have a difference let's say I want to align with this one so now you see that I have a difference here so pretty powerful what we can do with that so uh, cloud storage this is with the pros so web dev Dropbox OneDrive and so on FTP as well and subversion these are three features that you might want to have and these are only available with pro version beside that subversion again here check in check out so really advanced thing that are only available in pro and since it's the double of money though it's really cheap $60 honestly but if you really don't need those features then it might be a good idea to go with the standard version for only $30 which is a real steal and when you upgrade of course uh, if the version 5 is released it will be uh, something like half price or something like that for upgrading so really cheap again let me try to show you my version here uh, I will try to fit that into this little window here so that you can see it well oh, same size great uh, sorry that it's in French like I said but you can compare a lot of things uh, if I compare I don't know this folder here I do a folder comparison of this one versus a backup that I have in my P cloud let's say um, and by the way P cloud doesn't uh, by by default use that but of course I have it on my uh, local computer like that and now as you can see of course works there's a lot of thing to do I can stop it when I want but it will really compare all the folders and will tell me for example that this one has not been it's not the exact same version as this one so there are probably files that I didn't push to this one so you see here that this one is a temporary file I guess but if I wanted to I could synchronize it or simply copy it like that from one side to the other and as you can see here there are two colors so that means that one side this one has some files that the other one doesn't have and this one has some files that the left side doesn't have 
So that's why we have two colors. So again, really, really useful. I have some synchronization software that cannot do all of that. So this one makes both synchronization and comparison. So really powerful, really useful. I really recommend it. And it's not an affiliate link. So uh, <laughs> really encourage you to go and get that. It will help you uh, to uh, speed up your web development for sure. So I hope you have enjoyed the, this video and this entire series. If you used it, uh, please, please do subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to be notified of new updates. And of course, if you have any comments, just put them below. And have a rest of 2020, which was really special, great, and hopefully a great new year in 2021 as well. Have a good day.